Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluwa Yemisi, if you already don't know, and some people call me Shante. Yes, it's about to be a wrap for 2017, and I thought of, to create this look that is inspired by like the coming year, which I'm anticipating because I'm just really, really hopeful that it's even going to be better than 2017. 2017 was nothing short of awesome for me, thank God. Like, I give all the glory to God, and I believe that 2018 will be so much better like when you're just convinced that 2018 is going to be like my year like it's going to be that life-defining year for me and I'm really really hopeful so I hope you like this look I hope you can recreate it and it inspires you and that being said uh, I think we should just run into the video I'm so sick but I guess you don't know how it feels to be in love so yeah I already have my brows done and I'm just going to be setting my brows so I'm going to be using the Aaron Care Tinted Brow Gel just to set my brows and give it that natural look when I want to carry no Ferrari so with this done you can be sure that your brows are going to be on point the whole day I like the whole day so for my eyes I'm going to start off first by applying some concealer all over my eye area so that I have an even base and I'm going to be blending it out with a fluffy brush Okay, so now that that is properly blended, I'm going to go on ahead and apply some um, translucent powder over it just to set the concealer. So now that my base is alright, I'm going to go into the Hagen Esther Single Eyeshadows which I placed in this Z palette that I got from Girlie Essentials. So I'm going to be going into transition with this orangey shade right here. It's uh, called Thumbs Up. And I'm going to put like my blending brush, tap on it and just put that in my transition area. Next I'm going to be applying the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Now that the primer is blended, I'm going to be using the Hagen Esther color in Inferno. It's one of the single eyeshadows as well, and I'll be placing that in my lid area. Then I'm going to go back into the first brush that I used and just use uh, the remnants of the orange to blend out every harsh line. So now that this is blended, I'm going to go on ahead to add um, some pigment just with my fingers and I'm using this greyish pigment from Alpha, it's a very random pigment. I'm just going to dip my finger into it and spread the pigment all over my eyelid area. Now that I have the pigment all over the face, I'm just going to take the first uh, blending brush and just wipe off the pigments that I got on my crease. Yeah, so something like this. Now I'm going to line my eyes with this random gel eyeliner. So for my lashes today, I'm going to be using the Denny Lashes in Opal. So now that my eyes are done, I'm going to rush over my face. So I'm going to be using the N7 Boots Primer to prime my face. Then for correct, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro or I'm going to be using the LA Girl Orange Corrector. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Hagen Esther for the perfect foundation. This is in the shade bronze. And I'm going to be taking the Aaron Care Beauty Sponge just to blend this all over my face. Don't know how it feels to be in love, so I start to puff like puffy tea. 
since you don't want to come with me me i know one committing that so as usual i'm going to be spraying my face with some um setting spray and blend the foundation some more to highlight i'm going to be using the color pops concealer in deep golden now i'm almost out of my favorite concealer but the good thing is that i have a new one now to blend this out i'm going to be using um, the the top part of the erin care beauty sponge okay so for contour i'm going to be using the black opal stick foundation as per usual Money piling, my loudest jaw, no be siren. You the boss, my brain, you the cost my grain. If you leave me now, what? So to set my contour, I'm going to be using the Maybelline powder in cacao. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Zaron Maxi Blend Compact Powder. For my under eyes, I'm going to be taking Inferno and I'm just going to be putting that in my waterline. So for mascara, I'm going to be using the Zaron um, Voluminizing Mascara just to blend my real lashes to the falsies And I'm also going to be using a little of this in my under eye or my lower lash line So for highlights, I'm using the usual, the Eye Candy Cosmetics Illumination Palette I'm just going to be applying that on the eye points of my cheeks Oh yeah, so For blush, I'm going to be using the MAC blush in Breezy and I'm just going to lightly dust this over my face. And for my lip color, I'm going to be mixing these two lip colors from Colourpop's Cosmetics. I think one is in the shade Virginia and the other is in the shade Pinwheel. So I'm going to be using Virginia to line my lips and then Pinwheel in the center of my lips. So I just went ahead and applied a pinwheel in the center after I applied the Virginia on the outer corner and this is what we have and I'm just blending that together so I'm in the mood to like clean up my lips like the corner of my lips just to make my lips pout some more and I'm just going to do that and I'm just going to use my powder to set the foundation around the lips then I'm just going to spray my face using the Nuban uh, Seal It Makeup Fixing Spray. This is what it looks like. Wait for that to dry up and I'll be right back. So yeah, this is the finished look. I had uh, like a lot of makeup so I'm filming this video. So I'm not even sure if it's good enough to put out there. I'll look through it again and if you see it out there then... I guess I just decided to put it out there because right now I actually feel like I'm not going to be putting this video out. I like the overall look but I had like a difficult time like blending out my eyeshadow today for some reason it just wasn't blending out right the way I liked it. I hope you liked this look and you enjoyed this video and you learned one or two things because if you did I would appreciate if you can like this video, if you subscribe to this channel, if you share and if you comment down below I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your love but thank you so much for being with me 2017. I hope to rock it with you guys in 2018 and I can't wait to see you there.
go be your body. 